the Holocaust. What Hitler did beginning in 1934 is remembered here at the only Holocaust museum in the state. This really is the, the, the center of, of Michigan culturally. And people from all over come to learn about his attempt to destroy the Jews and the history of Judaism. The vast majority of our visitors are not Jewish. Executive Director Stephen Goldman's staple item in the collection is this boxcar, which sits at the entrance to the exhibit. I thought in this place, since the visitor is now em, uh, embarking on a, on a journey of discovery, of learning, and of understanding that will begin with the boxcar, where the victims of the Holocaust got on board. Visitors then begin that journey with a history lesson. First we give a context, then we give what happened, explaining why. There's no real explanation of how this could be. There just isn't. You can't conceive of it. And then what we can do to assure, what each of us can do as individuals to assure that it will not happen again. And then comes the last window before the descent into the evil that was the Holocaust. Silence as visitors take in the horrors. But there is a light at the end of that dark tunnel that gives hope. This is a place where you're leaving from, not getting to. At the end here, your last thing, of course, is the Institute of the Righteous, but following that is our memorial wall. An eternal flame burns 24-7, uh, and we have the numbers of each country's Jews that were murdered. Those memories are what Stephen hopes to preserve with a digital account of survivors' information. This institution was founded by Holocaust survivors, and they look at this as their home. Home, and a place that their story will live on forever. It is important that we are here, that this Holocaust Museum exists to teach the lessons.